The answer is basically the vast majority of the patients are great candidates for laser eye surgery. The surgeries that are done now are incredibly safe. It's one of the safest procedures that is done in the United States. When it comes to candidacy for surgery, the only true way to know if you're a good candidate or not is to visit your local eye doctor or surgeon or eye surgery center and have a screening done so they can look at some of the general parameters like how thick your eye is, the curvature of your eye, and also your prescription. This surgery is reserved for adults, so it's not a great idea for kids because the eye is still changing. But of the healthy adult population, the vast majority of people are great candidates for the surgery and can have this done. The even better news is the results are absolutely excellent. But it's critical that until you find out whether you're a candidate or not, that you take some steps towards preserving your eye health and also not abusing contact lens wear so they can get more accurate readings when you're measured. Many of the patients that come in seeking laser eye surgery simply are excited to have freedom from eyeglasses. But some patients want to see better than they did previously with eyeglasses or contacts. And although this is very likely, there is no guarantee to how well you will see after surgery. What we do know is in the normal eye, if we have an uncomplicated surgery, very often most patients will see as well, if not better, than they ever did with glasses and contacts being that we have an opportunity to correct unique imperfections within your eye itself. Everyone heals a little bit differently, and in certain cases, some people will not see quite as well as they did with glasses and contacts after the surgery, but the vast majority will see as well, if not better, than they ever did with glasses or contacts. Some of the limiting factors of how well you can see include your retinal ability to see or resolve images. And that you can think of that as your megapixels in your camera. Some people are born with a 10 megapixel camera. Some people are only born with a 2 megapixel camera. And also, healing rates are slightly different for different people. So some people will see exceptionally well the very next day after surgery. Some people, it takes them a little longer to see better. In general, laser eye surgery is completely painless. It involves numbing the eye with some topical eye drops, and then the patient simply looks at a light, a fixation light, while the procedure takes place. In most cases, the patients have no idea what's going on or have no sensation of what's happening to the eye itself. Some patients report a slight sensation during creation of the flap. Apart from that, the surgery itself is typically painless, and the recovery is very, very short. The night after the surgery, some patients will experience dryness, but very often the next morning, patients have very little to no discomfort and excellent vision. The surgery itself takes on the order of seconds to minutes, depending on your prescription and the type of procedures that's being done. You can expect to be in an operating room for anywhere from a couple minutes to five minutes for the total procedure to be done. When it is done, recovery, can vary depending on the type of procedure and how long it takes. For the vast majority of people who have LASIK eye surgery, that although they will see well immediately after the surgery, they'll be somewhat foggy for several hours afterwards. Most patients are encouraged to sleep as much as they can after the procedure, and by the time the next morning rolls around, most patients enjoy fantastic clarity of vision. Some of the major concerns with laser eye surgery are making sure that you have adequate protection for your eyes after the surgery. Sleeping with a night shield and also protecting your eyes during any at-risk behaviors for the first week after surgery is critical. Some of the other concerns with laser eye surgery may be the chance of needing a second procedure. This chance of a second procedure is typically based on how much prescription you have, the amount of astigmatism you have, and the younger the age you are the more likely you are to possibly need an enhancement in the future. And the need for enhancement is relatively rare and is typically known in the first three to six months. Enhancements are very, very successful when needed, but again, a small percentage of the population will ever go ahead and go on to need an enhancement. And if they do, they're successfully done. Complications or concerns about complications are one of the most common questions we get with refractive surgery. The great news is refractive surgery is one of the safest surgeries available out of all surgeries that people will commonly have. 
success rates are very high. Some of the more common complications we'll run into tend to be dryness. And even though dryness is encountered by a fair percentage of the population, it's temporary and often alleviated simply with artificial tears. Most patients who have significant dryness issues after surgery will also have significant dryness before surgery, so it's important to identify these patients and make sure you're treated for this if that is the case. Otherwise, typical complications that we may run into apart from routine dryness may be occasional and temporary night vision issues when it comes to the glare and halos around lights, and the good news is, is they tend to resolve quite well with time. Some more serious complications can be a very rare instance of inflammation within the eye itself that your surgeon or doctor will watch for carefully. And the last thing is sometimes the flap itself can have some issues primarily due to mechanical trauma and that's one thing that all patients should be concerned of not to touch or rub their eyes after surgery. As long as that doesn't happen, again, the vast, vast, vast majority of cases do exceptionally well and people are very happy with their vision.